The square root of a number is the non-negative number that must be multiplied by itself to arrive at that original number. Let's look at an example. 5 times 5 equals 25. So the square root of 25 is 5. That is, we have to multiply 5 by 5 to get back to 25. Negative 5 times negative 5 is also 25. But the square root of 25 is not negative 5. It's only 5. It's defined to be positive or 0. Other examples. The square root of 16 is 4. The square root of 1 is 1. The square root of 0 is 0. You can see a list of these in the Math 101 content. The square root of x squared is only equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0. However, if x is a negative number, when we square it, we'll get a positive number. And the square root will also be a positive number. So the square root of x squared, when x is negative, is negative x, because it has to be a positive number. Even though a square root can only be positive, that doesn't change the fact that x squared equals 1 has two solutions, x equals 1 and x equals minus 1. A final reminder, a negative number has no real square root, because there's no way we can multiply a number by itself and get a negative number.